Guten Morgen nochmal. Das hier ist Seite 228, Übung 16. Und wir benutzen ohne, zu, without. So remember, this is without verbing. So just wherever I have the word verb here, you put in any verb you want. Without eating, without drinking, without sleeping, without jumping, without verbing. Okay, so Beispiel. Er hat den Koffer genommen. Er hat mich nicht gefragt. He took the suitcase. He didn't ask me. So just a small review. We've got past tense up here. Has taken or took. Has asked or asked. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to combine these two together and make one sentence using ohne zu. So we could technically take this second sentence, he didn't ask me, and we could change that to something like without asking me. So that's what we're going to do. The first sentence will remain the same. Er hat den Koffer genommen, comma, and it's a word just like an ohne zu phrase. Remember, with these zu phrases, the verb always comes at the end. <coughs> so the verb we're going to have at the end will be fragen. Remember, this is past tense. We're going to put down the infinitive. So we know that fragen will go way down here at the end. And we also know that the word zu has to come in front of it, so we may as well go ahead and put that down too. Um, now, let's see, we need an ohne at the beginning. Without asking, without asking me, mich. Er hat den Koffer genommen, ohne mich zu fragen. He took the suitcase without asking me. Okay, Nummer eins. Sie sind abgefahren. Sie haben nicht auf Wiedersehen gesagt. <coughs> They drove away. They didn't say goodbye. So we're going to try to change this second part over here to something like without saying goodbye. Okay, so the first part will be the same. Sie sind abgefahren, comma. And we know that the without will come next, so we can go ahead and put an on in there. We know that the verb will come at the end, so let's look over here and see what our verb is. Here we have gesagt, that's in past tense. Let's put it in infinitive, which would be sagen. And by the way, I forgot to do that up here, so fragen, in case you were wondering. Sagen. So we're going to put sagen at the end. And we know that zu comes in front of that because abfahren is not a little verb um, without saying goodbye. So we need to put this goodbye down here. I'll squeeze it in the best I can. Auf Wiedersehen. Zu sagen. Sie sind abgefahren ohne auf Wiedersehen zu sagen. If you have any other questions on it, let me know. Tschüss.